Nvidia recently released a brand new DLSS4 technology that insanely helps us to improving our FPS and boosting our PC performance for gaming especially. But guys, the problem is I am personally and also a lot of people are getting the problem like DLSS is not supported by their GPU and most of their game. So guys, students in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the DLSS4 supported by your any GPU for your any game. So guys, here is my Nvidia app and here you can check it out here. I have already updated my Nvidia driver on the latest version on the 30th gen. And also guys, you need to always update your driver on the latest one for enabling the DLSS4 on your GPU. Now after updating your GPU, you need to go straight towards this graphics option and here you will find all the games. So under there you will find out your game. So guys, go for your any favorite game that is in my driver for me. And guys, now you need to scroll down and here you will find out these driver settings. And you can check out here guys, DLSS4 override super resolution is unsupported by my GPU and also the settings that is the DLSS override frame generation that is also not supported by my GPU. So guys, now I'm gonna show you how you can enable these settings on your PC in order to boost your PC performance with this new technology of the NVIDIA. So guys, in the very first step, you need to download this file on your PC. This have some command for the NVIDIA app that will help you to enabling all these things on your PC. Link available down in the description. Simply go on my official website and download this TXT file on your PC. So guys, open up the file. Inside you'll find out here all this command or the value that you need to replace in order to enable all the settings on your PC. So first of all, for changing this command, you need to go straight toward your local app data gallery. So folder press windows are together from your keyboard and simply type here percentage, local app data percentage and hit OK. After that, now find out here the NVIDIA Corporation folder. So press N from your keyboard and find out NVIDIA Corporation folder. Go inside it, now go for NVIDIA app and open up NVIDIA backend folder. Now inside here you will find that the settings that is the application storage.json and guys before making changes inside this file it is always important to take the backup of this file therefore we can replace it anytime. So guys for that press ctrl c from your keyboard go on your desktop and take the backup of your this file. Now next you need to go for the application storage.json file right click here now you need to go for open with and guys open up this file with your any notepad or the word file so i'm going with the notepad one after that go for just change and here you will find out all these things so guys before opening this file guys make sure to go into the properties of this file and make sure to uncheck this read only box there we can make the changes so guys again go for it and open up this with the notepad and now from here guys you need to change here these changes so guys open up the command that is the nvidia one which i will provide you in the description so you can simply go on my website and download this so guys in the very first step you need to go for it simply copy this first line from here so guys go for it and press ctrl c and copy this file now you need to go for application.json now you need to go for this edit option and go for replace button now from here you need to simply paste the first line after that go for this nvidia app and now simply you need to go for this now you need to go for this command or this value, simply copy it from here and paste it onto the replace option. Now you need to again go back here and now you need to go for this replace all and replace the file from your PC. Now again next you need to go for the NVIDIA app command file. Now you need to go for the second command, simply copy it from here. Now you need to go for application.json1, simply go for this find one and guys hit enter and here you will find out this path. So guys now again go for it. Go for the second one, simply copy it from here, go for application.json, replace it here and click on the replace all and replace every single command from your this file. Now again, you need to go for the first one, copy the third value from here, put it into the find one, select here the third value again from here, copy it on your windows, now put it here on the second value, go for this application.json and click on the replace all. Now again go for NVIDIA app, now this time go for the fourth one, simply copy it from here, again go for, put it here on the first place, now go for this fourth value again, copy it from here, put it onto the replace one, now go for application.json and click on the replace all. Now here is our last file that is the disable SR model, so guys copy this value from here, put it into the find one, go for the last command. Copy it from here and put it into the uh, replace one. Simply put it here. Now go for application to JSON. Click on the replace all and replace all the settings on your PC. Now once you have replaced all these files on your PC, now you simply close out of it. 
Now press Ctrl F from your keyboard or simply go for the file option and click on the save button and guys save these files on your PC. After that, now simply close out of this txt file. So guys, once you have replaced all these values inside this application storage JSON file, so guys, you need to go for the properties of this file again and check mark onto the read only, therefore it cannot change again. Now hit apply, click OK and close out of this directory. Now you need to simply one time restart your PC, therefore all the changes take effect, so guys, let's restart our PC. So guys, here we have restarted our PC, now you need to simply go into the graphics option, go for your any game and now simply scroll down and open up your driver settings. And now here you can check it out here, over these settings are now available for our Marvel Rival and it will help us to improving our FPS. So guys, here we go over DLSS4, override model preset, so go for it. Now you need to go for it and set it on to the latest one. Now click on the apply button and guys, that's it. Now once you have applied, now here you will find out this ray tracing construction and here you will find out the super resolution that is also on the latest one. So guys now apply the settings, now you need to go for this DLSS override super resolution, so guys go for it and here you will find out these two settings, so that is the DL, DLAA for the 100% and the ultra performance for the 33%. So guys you can guys now apply or change the settings on your any game in order to get the best performance out of your PC. If you just go for the Fortnite, simply go for it and now again here you will find out the settings that is now available for your every single game. I hope so you love this video, please make sure let me know your opinion about this video in the comment below and i will see you in the next video